Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have your own reading. And we have your Oracle cards here like we always do. Yeah, we're pretty reliable on that. Yeah, we are. <laughs> this is just how we do it, right? You could be saying whoopee-doo, right? Hope you guys are all well. And, uh, you know, today I'm using this deck and uh, it is a very deep deck. So uh, with that being said, I put the cards down ahead of time. Yeah, the tarot cards as well, right? When, uh, when I'm very, you know, acclimated to the deck... Uh, typically, I put the cards down very spontaneously, right? Uh, it's fun to do it like that. But uh, today, you know, we have uh, the Harvard uh, University tarot deck here. I feel like we do. And uh, whoever wrote this deck is, I have to say, they, they are probably a genius. Yeah, I got to give them their props, right? And you guys know me. Uh, I can be a little critical, right? <laughs> That's Sagittarius energy. You can be saying, I'm not critical at all, and I'm a Sag. But... Uh, maybe, you know, maybe there's more Sag in my chart or something like that. Yeah, Sages can, they're known to be a little critical. Yeah, they are. And, uh, but we do give, uh, I feel like we do kind of, you know, definitely give uh, praise where we feel like it is, uh, it is necessary. Yeah, we, we never leave that out. And I feel like this person is a genius. Yeah, whoever wrote this deck. Yeah, mm -hmm. a very interesting person, I would probably say as well. And let's get into this here. Uh, enough accolades, right? We have Epiphany. And, you know, this is the angel here, Archangel uh, Raziel or Raziel. And, of course, you know, uh, he it looks like he's, you know, old man uh, winter over here. Of course he does. He's showing his light uh, like the hermit. But he's got these huge angel wings. And this is, you know, joy. But this is Epiphany. And this, all these cards, Sagittarius, are about basically a higher consciousness, wisdom being learned, being gained, uh, somebody like, somebody's awakened. I feel like they're all about that, right? We even have instinct over here, and they're showing the wolves, right? And here's the moon is out, and, you know, these wolves always kind of act on, animals always act on instinct. They do unless you're dealing w with maybe an ant, but, you know, he kind of even knows that, uh, you know, you're going to squish him. So there's some, a little bit of instinct. I feel like they do, right? And uh, <laughs> I would know because uh, they've been trying to live here for a long time, yeah. And so, but this reading is about somebody who, uh, who has awakened, and it's probably your person. It could be both. I feel like you are learning as well here too. And for me, when people learn, you know, or they have gained wisdom, it's very beautiful because, you know, your life can only get better, right? We know when we are younger, uh, well, a lot of us, right, especially Sagittarians, I have read that Sagittarians make lifetime mistakes. I mean, that's a little hard to swallow. Yeah, it is. Uh, I feel like it could be true. Yeah. Uh, major mistakes in our lives, right? Uh, duh, you know, <laughs> right? Uh, like, duh, you really did that? Wow, you did that to yourself? Or, you know, you did that to somebody? OMG, right? But uh, life is about, you know, a journey. It is, and learning, and, you know, and getting better as we go along. Yes, it is, right? And these people who are the powers that, uh, these people who are in charge, they don't want you to evolve, learn, uh, you know, they try to dumb the kids down in the school. They do. Even when I think about, you know, my own uh, you know, education growing up, uh, and I went to the public school system, and I could say that uh, maybe in some schools it's okay, but for the most part, I, I don't feel like it's very good at all, right? They just keep repeating and teaching you the same bullshit. They don't teach you the truth about history, uh, and, you know, they don't want you to be empowered, you know, when somebody's trying to kick your ass out, out on the kickball field, uh, they tell you that, uh, you know, we need to keep peace and all this shit. Well, you know, d sorry, I need to stick up for myself so, you know, so I can uh, be a strong person here. And that other, uh, you know, heathen that you got running around here because, you know, they were raised in some craziness here, that person needs to uh, understand that that's not okay. Uh, so uh, getting back to this, though, Sagittarius, uh, whoever went to the school of this reading kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it could be your person, right? Even though I don't have their cards here. Uh, this reading is about somebody who has really learned, I believe. And you're hoping, you're hoping so. But I really believe that they have learned. Yeah. And so with that being said, I feel like they're trying to return to you. And that they feel like you are destiny. Yeah. And that they are trusting their instincts, you know. 
Yeah, maybe they are, you know, being reincarnated as a wolf with a lot of instinct. Yeah, but this person's coming back. And remember, I said the epiphany card is here as well. So they uh, have awakened. And you might know this or you may not know this, but I feel like when this person returns or even now, you are learning, you're gaining wisdom yourself. And this is how life is. This is why it's, it's best for us. We learn from other people and in life experiences. Yeah, you can't learn sitting at home. No, you can't, you can't learn about other people for sure, right? And this is why we say you're supposed to be in a few relationships before you tie the knot with anybody, right? Mm -hmm. You could be saying, well, I was in a relationship in sixth grade, so I know everything about love. I know everything there is to know. <laughs> That's what they have people thinking these days, kind of, right? Yeah, they do. Uh, but, you know, you are like, uh, there's a, a great wisdom that is being learned here. And so we have the thunder drum here, right? And the thunder drum was, you know, it is, uh, uh, I don't know if they consider this a ritual, probably, but the thunder drum is uh, being beat here because somebody wants to declare something and very loudly and clearly or with a lot of love or spirit, right? In those days, you know, uh, when they were trying to tell, I don't know if they were trying to tell the universe or their people, but they beat the drum. And uh, yeah, I feel like the natives, I have to give them, I have a lot of respect for the natives because they just got down to business like and they they didn't like like with the culture now you know with all this uh social media and dumbing down yeah you guys uh of our kids it's like you know they everything that is so simple and you just both kind of supposed to do it and like it's just simple where you don't make it harder for yourself and you don't overthink it and stuff the natives never did that right very earthly energy and uh, following the creator or God, right. And, uh, and listening to the universe itself, right. You're listening to like the earth, right. About, they knew when there was going to be an earthquake and all this other stuff. And don't think that these people nowadays are, are, are know anything about, uh, what's going on right now. The tectonic plates are shifting. And this is why, uh, we have a lot of changes going on, on the earth. It's not what they're telling you right now that, yeah, it's, it's not, but, we're not going to discuss that here because uh, they have been telling our kids and us uh, something else for a long time. Uh, and it's not the truth, but we're going to get back to this because this is about truth and wisdom. It is Sagittarius. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and the natives knew the truth. They definitely did. So let's see what else we have here. And we have the locksmith and the man of blood. So, you know, somebody might have kids or they might be married right? It's possible here, right? And this locksmith card, uh, so your person's coming Sagittarius because they can't come. They can't not come. It's one of those things, right? Yeah. And because we have destiny and instinct right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they know that you are their destiny. Yeah, they know this. I'm pretty sure this could be like, it could be switched, uh, the reading, right? And so, you know, we also have the locksmith and, and with the man of blood, this person wants to like lock it down with you because they feel like your destiny. Like, why not? Right? I mean, why wouldn't you want to lock it down with somebody, uh, if you feel like, you know, if, if, if you know in your heart that they are destiny and remember this reading is all about your, uh, this person's higher consciousness, they've awakened. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, they could have woke up one morning and said, you know, Sagittarius is my sleeping beauty. And, uh, here I go. I feel like that's what this reading is about. And, uh, we also have the contract card right? Which is next to the locksmith card. So for me, they might want a marriage with you, right? And, uh, this person wants to definitely, uh, like, uh, even out the scales here, right? Balance the scales between you guys. Maybe there was problems before, but we have all the books here showing up. So there's major wisdom here, right? There's major understanding, spiritual, 
um, maybe, you know, in, in all other ways as well. There is some type of, uh, like, emotional understanding here and wisdom, right? Yeah, you have to have that in this world. You do. Mm -hmm. And we have the strategy card as well. And, you know, here's the journal, right? And uh, here's the quill, which is the pen. Uh, but there's definitely, you know, we see strategy. I feel like this person's using strategy to come towards you. Yeah, they might have done something to you in the past, Sagittarius. So they have to, like, kind of find their strategy, right? The wheel is here, and, you know, this could be you. They're showing you as a uh, an octopus here, Sagittarius. Are you an octopus, right? Uh, that means you have eight kind of tentacles or eight arms or whatever, and uh, mm -hmm, eights are about progress. They are. And so this is change and possibilities. Yeah. And all these arms are, you know, uh, whatever they call the octopus, the uh, octopus's arms, uh, you know, can create change and bring about uh, major possibilities here. I feel like there is a possibility here for, it could be healing, but uh, for something really beautiful. We have the pole star right here, Sagittarius, showing up here in the root. And the pole star is a divine could be a divine intervention but it's really kind of it's like the star this is a divine partnership you have with this person and this is in the root why it's all happening and this person knows this is destiny as well and we have it here they know that you are their destiny but they had to like walk this long journey and we see the man here right it's hard to see him you guys because you know the artwork's a little bit small but he's walking down this long path here He's walking toward this pole star. Yeah. And you know, the reason I kind of brought up some of uh, kind of the learning and the wisdom that is going on and that, uh, you know, and that our kids are kind of missing out on. Yeah, they are, you guys. The next, this generation is like, they're, they're just, they're into this, you know, uh, they have to follow the social narrative that, People are just, they're just, they're put, it's out there every day. So uh, the kids can be distracted by it instead of their own journey. Yeah, this is totally true here. And so, but this, you know, this card here, the Woodward and also this instruction card, it's really interesting. This is supposed to be the 10 of swords, right? In this deck. But as I said, this person is a genius. Yeah, I don't know their name. Who, who are they? Mark Ryan and John Matthews. Yeah, I mean, these guys, whoever they are, uh, hats off to you guys. Yeah, because this is a major, this is uh, a deck of somebody very intelligent. Yeah, no, there's no bimbos who wrote this deck. Yeah, there's none. And so for me, I love intelligence, right? I'm a Sag myself, and I don't like anybody who can't, uh, who can't have an intelligent conversation. Yeah, go away, uh, whoever, you, whoever you might be. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, go hang out with somebody who doesn't care about that stuff, right? But, you know, the Ten of Arrows here, this is instruction, and this is, you know, the grandfather's uh, showing the boy how to pull the, the arrow, and, you know, this is what is lacking in today's society. Uh, our kids aren't learning enough uh, wisdom from us and enough instruction, but you're learning here. That's what really what this is about, because we don't, because of society, partially, most of it is society has changed, and uh, just what, you know, what we have to kind of live with on a day-to-day -day basis. It kind of blocks us uh, a little bit from teaching our kids, right? We have to really like pay attention to that. And I myself have learned that, uh, you know, as I age, right? And, you know, my kids are grown. So, you know, that's what always kind of helps us be a better grandmother. <laughs> right? Although it's easier to teach your own kids and your grandkids. I feel like it is because, you know, because your kids are at home with you or they were, right? But this card talks about uh, wisdom, this instruction card. Yeah, and it's, I feel like you, uh, there's wisdom gained here, as I have said, since the beginning of the reading, right? But it's through this higher consciousness as well. It could be through somebody's suffering here, right? But it is definitely through somebody's awakening, and now this person wants to come and declare their love for you, Sagittarius, the thunder drum. They do, right? Mm-hmm. And we have the Woodward here. 
And this is also about kind of divine uh, wisdom. Let's see what it says here. This is uh, blessed compassion. All right. Well, the noble instinct of protection, mercy, maturity of the will and emotional direction. This is kind of what I mean about wisdom, right? And the maturity of the will with the woodward. And he's here. He's kind of like the, uh, a little bit like the hermit. But, you know, here, this is uh, a major maturity of will and the emotional direction. Like if you have not learned here, gained wisdom, your emotional direction is off. And this is what I've been trying to say here in this reading. Somebody's really, really learned here. And there's this inward learning. This is the kind of learning and wisdom that I don't care what anybody else thinks in my life. I'm going to be with Sagittarius. Yeah. And that's what really what this reading is about. Very deep. And so these could be your energies or your persons, right? And right here, Sagittarius, this is mercy. Wow, maybe you have to show them some mercy. Possibly. For some of you, this reading could be telling you that. Don't be so quick to judge. Hear this person out. They're going to beat their drum, Sagittarius. Right? They're following their destiny to you with the pole star and this destiny card and the epiphany and this instinct card. Yeah, they are. This knowing that your person knows since you are their destiny, it's given them a strategy. And that's what this instruction and Woodward card, these, these cards are kind of talking about. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This talks about learning many skills. Let's see what it says here a little bit about this Woodward. Through adversity or the process or of rebalancing in life, we find courage within ourselves that flows from an unknown source. Yeah. And uh, what did I say? Adversity. I said somebody might have suffered here. And your person has dealt with some, or you have dealt with some major adversity. This is a long path. I don't know how long ago you guys broke up with this person or something, but this is majorly deep. And so this is why it looks like it's not like from two months ago or something like that. Maybe for some it is. But it is a soul full of love and wisdom in this reading. Yeah. So we have here the creativity card, and this is what you want. This is what you're hoping for. You're hoping to create this with this person. But she's like, the way she is positioned here, this might have showed in, I think it showed in Capricorn's reading because I don't use this deck that much. But I feel like, you know, you're hoping to create this, but uh, this is supposed to be the Three of Pentacles. But this lady is standing here like stressed out or something. Let's have a look at the Three of Stones. Mm -hmm. The courage, freedom, and skill that allow the artist to mediate this energy must be refined and focused for effective and meaningful achievement. You're hoping here that this person has kind of refined their wisdom or something like that. So you can create this with them. And they have. Because when you have awakened, right, and they have, then then every your energy is more refined. It's not so rudimentary or uh, crude, I should say, maybe. Or just kind of basic. And like, it's very refined, like with the wisdom. That's what wisdom brings, refinement right? And this is what they don't want kids to have. They don't, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're pulling these statues down. You could be saying, well, maybe that was for a particular reason, but they're doing it. So we don't understand history. And so we don't know what good was done in the past. Okay. I understand there was, I, I know there was a lot of injustices in the past. I, tr I totally know that. But the good that has been done, they don't want you to know that because they're trying to veer you all in one way. And so, but this, you're hoping this person will have the courage and freedom and skill that will allow this person to manifest this with you. And so what's on your mind is mourning the seven of vessels. We see, uh, this is like, uh, 
This is supposed to be like the seven of cups, but you know, it's, uh, but you know, here's the skull and these cups are empty. Yeah, I feel like they are, but you know, this is mourning. This is what's on your mind. You may feel like this person is mourning. Maybe this is you. I don't feel like you're mourning in this reading, Sagittarius. No, you're too busy, like, kind of hoping that somebody is coming with 100% wisdom. Like, don't show up if you're kind of like, if you've, if you've awakened somewhat or if you've grown a little bit. Don't come. Only show up if you are completely awakened. Yeah. I mean, who wants somebody who is still, you know, still trying to figure their life out? I don't. Especially at my age. Let's see what we got for the seven of vessels. And this is, uh, this could be what's on your mind. And this is why I feel like this is this other person. So let's see what else we have. This is the time, uh, this could be, okay. And this is, this is the time to honor what is dead and mourn for what is gone. This is why I feel like you think this person is mourning somebody or something. Because there is a hard lesson that is being learned in this reading. There really is. And I don't feel like it's you. It could be, but uh, it could be both. You both could be learning some type of karmic lesson here. Yeah, with epiphany, instinct, destiny, and, you know, all this stuff. And instruction, the woodward. So the morning card. Learn the lesson, you see, of letting go by offering thanks for cherished memories and being at peace with the past. So, you know, this is not about maybe <clears throat> you think they're mourning so much. This is about, this is what's on your mind. <clears throat> You're thinking of letting this something go that they did to you. Or maybe they just weren't grown or awakened, <clears throat> right? It's kind of like when you see people doing stupid shit in the street or, you know, uh, you know, uh, doing crime. I can't think of the right word. Committing crime or whatever stupid things people have done to really like sidetrack their life, right? You could be, sometimes we show, we show like, we show compassion for that person. When you're younger, you're like, look at that stupid idiot, right? Look what they're doing here. Okay, well, they are stupid, but sometimes we have to show compassion because this person has been like, they could have been dumbed down by what, what was going on here. Maybe they weren't taught by their family at all, any values. There's people like that. You're like, oh my God, man, your parents, like they shouldn't have been parents or maybe they didn't have a mom or a dad, right? Because that, yeah. But, you know, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that, you know, part of uh, our society is so screwed up right now because, because what they are uh, uh, instilling in our kids and what they have instilled in, uh, in the population and people are still following it. Yeah. So let's get back to this though, because I feel like you're supposed to forgive this person, Sagittarius. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. People in the street. Sometimes you have to forgive stuff, right? Yeah. I always used to wonder, wow, they're forgiving, you know, their daughter was killed and, and this woman is like for being, she's forgiven the, the shooter. I'm like, whoa, dude, how can they, how can they do that? But you know, I understand now through my own growth, right? Yeah. And so, you know, you're supposed to forgive them. I feel like learn the lesson of letting go by offering thanks for cherished memories. Maybe they are learning a lesson. They could have done something to somebody here, or they could maybe be mourning somebody. But I feel like you, maybe you mourn this person a lot in the past, but you, you're thinking of, this is what you are like kind of doing. Like, I feel like thinking of forgiving them and le leaving the past behind, Right. Sometimes it's hard for people to leave the past behind. It is. And, you know, we get pessimistic and you go, no, you did that. You did that. All right. And I'm not talking about forgiving somebody, Sagittarius, who is not grown or anything like that. This is about somebody who has walked, a, uh, walked a, a mean journey, I should say, right? The wanderers in the near future. Here's the fool. He's walking across this big kind of uh, brook here, this river, and here's uh, b beneath his feet is the rainbow. Like I'm walking a beautiful path here. This is going to happen for you in the near future. You're going to walk it with this person. Yeah. They're bringing change and major possibilities for you and them. And in your concern, Sagittarius is going to be the Fox and the Fox is really, you know, maybe you want to move with them. Maybe they moved or, you know, something like that, but this is a change in direction 
And this is like leaving the fox is like, you're hoping here and you're concerned. Are they leaving their old ways behind? Maybe they were a player. Maybe they were a straight up idiot and they just did one thing after another. I'm not sure, but there's major wisdom and learning here. Let me grab a little bit of water, you guys. Thanks. Sorry, you guys. And in your environment, uh, Sagittarius is empowerment. So yeah, you know, this is, this is supposed to be the five of bows, but regardless here, this is all about empowerment right in the environment. So you are being empowered by this grand wisdom. You could feel empowered when this person shows up, like my wish is coming true here. So now I feel stronger <clears throat> and with that courage, you may be able to forgive this person if there is something that needs to be forgiven. Yeah, this is really a beautiful reading because it's it's a reading of like faith and journey. And I'm not talking about religious faith. Uh, no, I'm not talking about that. Although I, for one, believe in a creator. Yeah, I do. But, you know, here, Sagittarius, you're being empowered here. And so is this person. You're just hoping that they have learned here, that they have learned karmic lessons. That's what you're hoping. I feel like in a way you, you believe this about them. You believe, I think that this person has learned, but there's still a little bit doubt here. Well, I hope so because I don't want to walk down a road with them or a path with them where I don't want to waste my time. There's a little bit of that in here. Like, oh no, I don't, you know, I want to make, I want to make sure I'm right. Before I let go, and that is, uh, can't sing, guys, it's only 10 a.m., but that is Frankie Beverly. He goes, I want to make sure I'm right before I let go, and I feel like that's what he's kind of talking about, and that's what you want a little bit here. Before you let go of the past or, or kind of whatever you need to let go of here, you want to make sure you're right, which is completely understandable. Like you're not, you're trying to make sure that this is okay. I don't want to step into something that, you know, uh, where I'm dealing with, you know, uh, Bozo the Clown here. No, you don't. Or Howdy Doody. You're like, oh, hell no, dude. I've come too far in my life for this kind of BS. So let's look at uh, the Page of Arrows. And this is in your hope. And this is the Wren. Yeah, the little, the little Wren. And uh, he looks like he's kind of beige here. I don't even know what a Wren. I mean, if I saw a Wren in the yard, I might not know one, right? Uh, I know what the robin looks like, of course. <laughs> Let's see, we have a hummingbird and these different birds. And they show up in the yard, they do. It's, uh, it's a beautiful uh, thing about this place here. Uh, okay, so let's see what we have. Uh, and the page of arrows, study and application brings wisdom and understanding. See, this is in your hope and desire. You're hoping that this person has, like, really gone deep and learned. And I feel like they have. Yeah, I don't have their cards here. I mean, their cards are going to be, of course, in the extended. But I feel like they have. Uh, and this is really beautiful because be, because it's deep. But there's, there's so many lessons here that you feel like this person has probably learned. And how could you go wrong if they have truly learned? Right? Yeah, you can't. And study and application brings wisdom and understanding, which can be applied to most situations. Mm -hmm. your, your youth and determination it doesn't have to be youth, right? It could be, you guys might be 80, right? Uh, and this is, we learn as we get older too. Uh, yeah. And okay. Your determination will carry you forward and your nascent. I'm not sure what that word means, but I feel like it has to do with your natural skills. N-A-S-C. And it has to do with your intuition a little bit because we have the word scent, uh, in it. N-A-S-C-E-N-T. Now, this is probably your natural intuitive skills bring you to a dynamic realization. And that's what we've been talking about in this reading about uh, intuition and wisdom. And this will bring you to a dynamic realization. This is what you're hoping. So you're hoping to trust your intuition about this person. This is what I mean by this guy's kind of a, uh, these people are scholars. 
yeah whoever wrote this and uh yeah i can't like give them enough accolades no i can't right so we have here and this can talk about uh watchfulness and mystery determination you're hoping they're going to be determined but that they have kind of completely awakened and that you will realize something very dynamic here between you both and when we say realize we mean achieve or have or yeah like realize your dreams right wisdom again it's interesting how they have the word scholarship here you're hoping for this and in your outcome Sagittarius is going to be the responsibility card now this is the ten of wands right the guy's carrying this here but I feel like what this is saying here is that you know this is a completion and here he is going up the hill I feel like this is a hard lesson learned for your person but it is a lesson learned yeah and I also feel like in this reading I'm getting the sense that they were w willing to carry this heavy load to understand that you are their destiny yeah it's super deep if you guys don't like deep stuff this is not your reading right yeah it's not <laughs> but we're going to go to the extended I really want to see their their reading I do I feel like I'm going to use the same deck because I feel like I have to right but uh we're going to use a, a, a few uh we're also going to use some regular tarot cards in the extended right uh and we're going to uh, look at their complete spread and we're also going to see how they feel about you yeah and what is unknown about them Sagittarius thank you so much you guys for joining me here God bless you guys and thanks for listening right and please remember to like share and subscribe